alcohol. Okay. While we're getting that out, we're also going to get one pitcher of sugar-free fruit punch. And we're going to get ourselves two or magical type champagne glasses. And we're just going to pour that right in here, right halfway up. It's sparkling. Yes, it is sparkling. Actually, I'm going to put some juice in here too. It's basically you're going to do half and half. Now, if you're having a party, you can do this in a punch bowl. And we're just going to take our glass. And do we have some ice? Grill Dog has a bar and no ice. Oh, there we have some ice. Now, if your apple, your sparkling apple cider and your fruit punch is already chilled, you don't need ice. But Grill Dog said he didn't, he forgot to chill it that much, so we're just going to put some ice in here. And that's okay. Look, they're heart shaped. That's so cute. Grill Dog is such a romantical. Okay, and then we're just going to pour our sparkling fruit drink in here. And we're just going to pour it right in here. And you want some room at the top. Now that we have that in there, we're going to take that sorbetto that Grill Dog made for me earlier, which is looking quite nice, and we're just going to scoop it out. Actually, if you really want to have a romantical dinner, what's a romantical dinner without a straw? <laughs> we're just going to put a straw in here. Now we got our straw in here, we'll get our ice cream scoop. And you're just going to scoop out a little bit of that sorbetto to top it off here. And you can put a cherry on top if your dietitian says you can have cherries, maraschino cherries, or just serve it like that. That's quite healthy. Let's take a sip of it. Mmm, -hmm, grill pop. Would you like to have a taste of this? So cheers, have a nice romantical meal, and we'll give it back to Grilled Dog. Thanks, G-Man. Oh, this is awesome. And it's healthy, too. <coughs> it's really good. So now, the larb is chilled. So let's go ahead and get Grill Pup to give me the larb. This is our meat mixture that we did. And if I can have a plate, have our smiley face. The grill Eat pack was so hungry. Yeah, I know, but the grill pack got hungry and ate it. Oh, so what we're going to do is we'll get some cabbage, because this should be served with cabbage. And if you want to, you can just serve it to your friends like this, because all they have to do is just take a little piece of the cabbage, like that, and you can put this into a bowl. They take their cabbage leaf, and just scoop it out like this, and let's take a look at this on our patent and grill dog zooming technique. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is some good stuff. Mmm. All right. The chicken's been cooking for one hour and a half. So let's take a look at it. Oh, doesn't that look quite nice and quite yummy? Our folks with kidney disease is really going to enjoy something like this. And now what we're going to do is we going to take it off. And we're going to let this sit for like 10-15 minutes because you don't want to cut it right away because all the juice juices will get out. And let's take a look at this with our patent grill dog zooming technique. Oh yeah, let's see if he can drop it on the ground. <laughs> How is it? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, Doesn't that look Lord. yummy? Oh, look, look at that juice. Grease. Yes. Mm. Alright, now you don't have to be an expert carver. I mean, if you have kidney disease and you don't really want to carve the meat, you can just do the best you can. And I just basically kind of pull it apart because when you grill the chicken limb like this, it's basically just falling right off the bone. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? And we're just going to set it over here. And we're going to take the rest of the skin off. Some people like the skin. It's nice and cozy. Oh, it's really good. It's got the orange flavoring to it. All right. Once you have your chicken sliced, we just set it over to the side, and when you want to serve it, you just take some of your boysenberry sauce that we have here, and just put a drizzle bit on top, and that's looking quite nice. Let's take a look at this with our patented grilled dog zooming technique. Oh, don't that look quite nice right there? And let's just have a taste of that. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, that's quite nice. I'll have some more.
Oh God, eating it off of a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of another show. I want to thank G Man for showing up and making a delicious, refreshing drink. I want to thank the folks at Lee Books and Jude Lieberman for their writing support and how happy they are when I actually use some of the stuff that they write for me for the show. I want to especially thank you for watching. We had a quite great show for the folks who are unfortunately to be suffering from kidney disease. Remember, check your nutritionist for what you can eat and keep track of your food because we want everybody to live long and to enjoy the food, fun, and friends that we profess here on our show. <laughs> so, on behalf of the entire Grill Pack of Friends, that's a cut, that's a print, and that's a wrap. And if you're not about food, fun, and friends, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Now, Grill Dog's words are in this song. If you're not in it for